Hi, Chris Cole. How you guys? Uh, I want to just run through this, hopefully this short video. I'm looking at this one you sent me, Chris, and I noticed both of you guys haven't been giving me connectors. I'll just give you a brief show of connectors doing how they work. So I'm going to open up a project. It's going to be systems. Just an example. So let's open this one here. Now what, now when we get into the project environment, so I'm going to go to a 3D view, and I'm going to just place a cable tray on the systems, cable tray, and we're going to use, for the type selector, we're going to take a ladder. And I'll make this fine so we can see the room. So here you go, there's our cable tray. Now, if I pick this cable tray, if I just select it, you'll notice these dots. These are connectors, and I want to just draw. So we add more cable tray or fittings. You need that connector so it can do its little thing. But without connectors, you can't do any of that. You can't even add additional cable tray. So like here, or even a T. See. Now we're working on fittings and I'm getting these in. I've got, got a few made, but we saw in the last video. So now let's go back over into our family. Now, uh, let me close this. I'll just bring this to front. Okay, now right here, we're going to your reference level. This all looks pretty good. Okay, now, this is your reference. Okay, so let's go and do this now. We want to go and change this family type from generic to cable tray fittings. And we'll say OK, and it's going to stay work plane based. And we won't take always vertical. For the verticals, we probably will. So let me go OK there. Now, we change this um, type, or we change the uh, category. So I'm going to go to the 3D view here. And right here, under Create, we have cable tray connector. So you select cable tray connector and I want to say work plane based. So here, oops, sorry about that. Email. Oh, my birthday, my door, sister, wishing me, well, whatever. Okay, so now we're going to go here and we want to select a, a plane. So that's the probably the front back plane. So we'll select it. And there's our connector. We'll say OK. Now once you have the connector in, you want to select it. And in the properties, in this little builder block right here, and we're going to just work with height first. We'll select here. And you got H for height, and we'll select H. And that's going to associate with the height of the cable trail always. And we're going to say OK. So we got the height in, now we'll select it again. And we're going to do our width. And I think you got W for width. We'll say OK. So now there's our con OK, I see something wrong here. OK, now I know what happened. Let's do a Z A. Going to your front view. OK, this is what happened here. Now in your front view, Everything has to be a centroid, and this is not, this should be the center point. That's why that connector's down here. But what I'm going to do, see if I can just lift this up. Yeah, I can. I'm eyeballing this, but normally you want to make this a centroid. That that's point is the center because normally they don't really measure cable tray from the bottom. They normally go from the center. So I'm going to say that's, okay, that's close enough. 
So now let's go back into our 3D view now. And so we have that connector in. Now let's go back to our reference level. Now here, we can use this plane right here for our other connector on the other end. So let's just select this guy and let's give it a name. Let's just call it back connector or back. It's just anything you want. Anything came, anything but be consistent. So let's say back. And let's say, okay, so there's our reference plane that we're going to use for the other connector. So I'll go back into my 3D view. And then I want to go and create cable tray connector. And then I want to pick a work plane. And here I want to select back the one we just picked. And we'll say, okay. And there's our connector. And just like the other one, we'll go in properties and the builder block for the height. We want to associate the height here. Say OK. And then we'll go to the width. And the, do hit the builder and hit width. I think you got W there. And there's the right width. So now again, yeah, we got to lift this up. I mean, now cable tray, like I said, we don't, the reference, everything is a centroid in this case. So the reference plane has to be on the center. So I'm going to see if I can just push this up just for now. And I'm my ball and it's not exact, but we need to do the center. So, yeah, that's close enough. So now we have our connectors in, and then I'll go back to our reference level. Whoops, sorry. Now here in our reference level here, we've got these, we have a primary and a non-primary. So in this case, this is not a big deal with cable tray, but in piping and fittings, you got to have a primary. You can reassign it. Just reassign here, and you'll click that one. So right, this was the primary now. And then if I reassign it, I'll just hit this one. So that's where all that goes there. So now we have our connectors in. Now let's go and back into the other open project. So let's load this into our project. And go with uh, work plane base and there's our cable tray that you created. Now let's make this change this width. We'll do an added type here and you got the width here which is about five five inches, six inches. So let's just make this a foot. Let's make this 12 inches here. Apply. Okay. So now you see the dots here you got? Now I can add my fittings or other cable tray. And that's how you do that. Okay. So pretty simple. This is a, a reducer because the size is not matching. And what's doing that is that connector not being on the center, exact center. So if I look at this one, let me go to a, let me just cut a section through here. Knock that down. Okay, let's do this one at the top again. Okay. And I'll use the. Hmm, I don't want that one. Got out of there. I'm going to tell this again. Mm. So let's go into a elevation view. Let's go into a south to front. So let's hit that. And there's our. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Now see if I see the offset here, it's at two. If I set this to zero, it's gonna fall right dead on the center. Now that's the auto desk cable tray. And this is the one that we we created here. There it is. Let's just go back into our 3D view. So just delete this out. Delete this out. 
And I want to go back into my power level one. When I see those, that's kind of crooked. But if I run a section through here, the one you made, let me just straighten this out if I can. No, I can't. So. Let's just cut a section and show you what's happening here. See, the offset is minus two, but it should be zero. And the one you made, that, 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 that's okay. But what happens with this, if we look at, see, they always measure from the center. You know, we can add some formulas to create it from the top or bottom, but the majority of the time in the industry, they measure from the center point of the uh, of the, the fitting. Just like the piping and ductwork, it's always from the center. Now, if it go from top or bottom, then we use our justification. So let's draw a decent cable train here from Autodesk. Here's theirs. Now, if I select this, then you have justification. See here, you got middle, top, and bottom. So, just want to show you this quick little video how you do connectors. So, we want to use connectors on the cable tray and the fittings so they can work in the project environment. And remember to always test your stuff out when you're done. So, hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Again, like I said, this is okay. Uh, let me see if I can change the length here. Let me see if I can flex this guy. Okay, you got your 600 in there. That's good. Yep. But the only thing you miss, you miss this, the connector. See, if I draw a connector here, I can get it in there now. And then it's going to adjust to the cable tray. See? And again, the reason why this is happening is because that connector is off. It's not lining up with the project cable tray, which is going to have to happen. So, hey, guys, just remember that. Any questions, drop me an email and um, keep rocking. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye.